unusual. Hello, my darling. Sheila True Love here with you. The American people are exhausted with the same old rhetoric, rhetoric without our um, main concerns being addressed, which, of course, is housing. Nobody can afford to even live. People out in the street, people are homeless. And that's the least. That's one of the least things that people should have is a place to live. What about these food prices? People can't even afford to, to, to live. And I pity the older ones. Let me share this with you. You know, Kamala Harris, she's saying when it comes to going to Donald Trump's roast, she, um, she wants to invite you, not roast, but his rallies. She wants you to go, if you could ever find a rally with Donald Trump, and just watch how the people start to react. <laughs> I'm going to actually do something really unusual, and I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies, because it's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. And I will tell you, the one thing you will not hear him talk about is you. You will not hear him talk about your needs, your dreams, and your need, and your desires. And I'll tell you, I believe you deserve a president who actually puts you first. And I pledge to you that I will. I'm going to actually do something real. Thank you. I'll let you respond, Vice President Harris. Well, I think this is so rich, <laughs> coming from someone who has been prosecuted for national security crimes, economic crimes, election interference, has been found liable for sexual assault, and his next big court appearance is in November at his own criminal sentencing. And let's be clear, where each person stands on the issue of what is important about respect for the rule of law and respect for law enforcement, the former vice president called for defunding federal law enforcement, 45,000 agents, get this, on the day after he was arraigned on 34 felony counts. So let's talk about what is important in this race. It is important that we move forward, yeah. that we turn the page on this same old tired rhetoric and address the needs of the American people, address what we need to do about the housing shortage, which I have a plan for, address what we must do to support our small businesses, address bringing down the price of groceries. Hello. But frankly, the American people are exhausted with the same old tired playbook. Thank you. I'll yes, let you I respond. Know I am. How about you? Are you tired of the food prices? Are you tired of these, uh, the, the mortgage people? I, I pity the, uh, what is that, the millennials and the Generation Z? They can't even afford to leave home anymore. Now, when it comes to the immigrants, I'm sure she has a plan for that too, because we do need the immigrants, as I stated in my first video, because when you think about how was America built, it was based on immigrants, but they have to get rid of the illegal ones, the migrants, get rid of them, sweetheart. And I'm sure she has a plan for that too. I personally say you got to bring the military in to get this under control. Go out here and, 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 and find where all of these illegal people are and you can find it just word on the street sweetheart hire people on the street <laughs> that's easy find out where they are deport them back to their country and we will keep a certain percentage of them here because we do need the workers to keep these companies running and to keep america running donald trump left us the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. And what we have done is clean up Donald Trump's mess. We did a phenomenal job with the pandemic. We handed them over a country. Shut up with the pandemic, fool. So many people are mentally ill from that pandemic nonsense and you giving out all of those, those uh, stimulus checks and then to do what? Put a heavy burden on the people later on. Trust me, we're paying for those stimulus checks where the economy and where the stock market was higher than it was before the pandemic came in. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. This is the one that weaponized, not me. She weaponized. I probably took a bullet to the head because of 
the oh, things that they say only. about me. They talk about <laughs> democracy. I'm a threat to democracy. They're the threat to democracy President with a fake Trump. Russia, Russia, Thank Russia you. investigation we do have a lot that to get. went nowhere. We have a lot. Nowhere in America is a woman carrying a pregnancy to term and, and, and asking for an abortion. That is not happening. It's insulting to the women of America. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. You bring up Springfield, uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there have been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. She hates Israel. If she's president, I believe that Israel will not exist within two years from now. And I've been pretty good at predictions, and I hope I'm wrong about that one. Uh, that's absolutely not true. I have my entire career and life supported Israel and the Israeli people. He knows that. He's trying to, again, divide and, and distract from the reality, which is it is very well known that Donald Trump is weak and wrong on national security and foreign policy. It is well. You know, I just, I just can't keep. Free. Her husband is Jewish, sweetheart. So you know, in Israel, that's predominantly uh, Jewish people and Muslim people, what have you, if you will. Yeah, Donald, come on now. President Trump, did you win the debate? Okay, Donald. So do you have a plan when it comes to the things that the American people need, Donald? Because do you have a plan, and can you tell us what it is? Oh. So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. Do you have a Concept, plan? Concepts is not what we need. We need a plan, man. We need a man who got or a woman with a plan in her hand. Let's understand uh, some more um, of this debate. And like I, like I said, the American people, we are definitely exhausted. I know I'm, I'm tired. I, actually, I'm doing good. Because I, I trust in Jesus Christ, honey. I let Jesus Christ handle everything, and I'm doing great. But I know there are a lot of people who are struggling and who are suffering. But let's listen to this. And when Donald they Trump keeps talking about this abortion, he wants to keep focusing on that. He don't care about human life at all. 34 felonies and, 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 and whatever the hell, child. He don't care about women. He don't care about uh, uh, human life at all. The only reason why he wants to over turn where he the Roe versus Wade so they can have more workers because we see that the birth rate has gone down dramatically especially in Korea and in these Asian countries honey you know workers honey they need these workers to be able to work in these large corporations so these fat cats can still sit on their behind he don't give a damn about human life because if he's against abortions he should be against war like I said, let's wait until they're born and then we'll kill them and destroy them. Then we'll have them maimed with half of their body parts blown off. Arms missing, legs missing, a mess. We're waiting for that. Instead of taking care of something with the morning after pill, if you slip up or if you have to, you've been raped or you've been incest going on in the household, you know? Men forcing women to be pregnant. Women's, women's lives are threatened. They could tell that the baby ahead of time with the new, um, the new methods that they have, that this baby is going to be born with some type of deformities or whatever. You got to carry that through. When it comes to abortion, I'm pro-choice. Because I know about Jehovah God and Jesus Christ. They have grace. They have mercy, compassion, and profound understanding and that's why i'm so grateful for jesus christ dying in our behalf so when we do sin or mess up we can be forgiven and don't forget jehovah and jesus christ they look at your heart they see the position that this woman who was raped now you got to carry this rapist child, child miss me with all that and of course these men don't care because it's not happening to them what the hell do he care I they have abortion in the ninth month. They even have, and you can look at the governor Life. of West Virginia, the previous governor of West Virginia, not the current governor, is doing an excellent job, but the governor before, he said the baby will be born and we will decide what to do with the baby. In other words, we'll execute the baby. And that's why I did that, because that predominates, because they're radical. The uh, you heard when he says we'll execute the baby. No, we'll execute them when they're, when they're 18. What, what age is it that you go to war? 
We'll wait until we execute them. They went, every time he says that, it, it, it infuriates me because of the hypocrisy. How fake and phony you are, liar. Democrats are radical in that. And her vice presidential pick, which I think was a horrible pick, by the way, for our country, because he is really out of it. But her vice presidential pick says abortion in the ninth month is absolutely fine. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. Madam Vice President, I want to get your response to President Trump. Well, as I said, you're going to hear a bunch of lies, mm -hmm. and that's not actually a surprising fact. Let's understand how we got here. Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. And they did exactly as he intended. And now in over 20 states, there are Trump abortion bans, which make it criminal for a doctor or nurse to provide health care. In one state, it provides prison for life. Trump abortion bans that make no exception even for rape and incest, which understand what that means. A survivor of a crime of violation to their body does not have the right to make a decision about what happens to their body next. That is immoral. They have abortion. Sure, okay, sorry, Donald. She got you on that one too, buddy boy. And like I said, yeah, let's just take a look at what Americans are saying. In 2016, Donald Trump said he would choose only the best people to work in his White House. Now those people have a warning for America. Trump is not fit to be president again. Here's his vice president. Anyone who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. It should come as no surprise that I will not be endorsing Donald Trump this year. His defense secretary. Do you think Trump can be trusted with the nation's secrets ever again? No. I mean, it's just irresponsible action that places uh, our service members at risk, places our nation's security at risk. His national security advisor. Donald Trump will cause a lot of damage. The only thing he cares about is Donald Trump. And yep. the nation's highest ranking military officer. We don't take an oath to a king or a queen or to a tyrant or a dictator. And we don't take an oath to a wannabe dictator. Take it from the people who knew him best. Donald Trump is a danger to our troops and our democracy. We can't let him lead our country again. I'm Kamala Harris and I approve this message. In 2016, Donald Trump said he would choose only the best people to work in his White House. Now those people have a warning for America. Trump is not fit to be president again. Here's his... That's coming from the male patriarchy. His own team. He's not fit, sweetheart. Donald Trump only cares about Donald Trump. Large corporations and helping out, helping the rich get richer and the middle class and the poor to be um, trampled on and to be destroyed. He don't care about you. He don't care about me. He don't care about no children. The only reason why he's working so hard against abortion is so that he can have more workers being born into the country so that he, him and his fat cats can sit on that fat behind and, and be superior. They're not interested in anyone but their friends, their family, and themselves. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.